Things aren't looking good for Doxy Disrespect at all. To be honest, this guy's career is completely over. He's probably sat at his computer right now, just looking through Twitter and just seeing his whole life just crumble apart right in front of him. I mean, he's there probably picking up cookies and they're just falling to pieces. Everything he touches just turns into utter shit because he just admitted to the accusation. So I'm going to get into it now. The Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the BS. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be up and front about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. I hope you guys are prepared for some absolute insanity. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. Now, for those of you who don't know what Midnight Society Game Studio is, it's a gaming studio that he built. They were building a game together and... Yeah, he's about to get into it a little bit more. So, a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I. And we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. I don't really know why it's a painful decision. This guy is literally a PDF file. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families. And I'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch. But for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclose the accusations i can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban so the two twitch employees one of them was the owner sort of i'm going to get into that clip later on because i just find it so interesting and then we also had the most prominent one which was a former twitch employee who's now kind of an artist and he wanted to sell his show and everything like that you can see it up on the screen now he actually came out and said exactly what dr disrespect was and uh, he was trying to sell tickets to his show for it anyway this is a really kind of thick muddy part of it so let's get into it were there twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017 the answer is yes now i just want to pull out that word minor there because that is exactly what dr disrespect did after like the first five minutes of putting the tweet up he edited the tweet removed the word minor and just put individual so he was trying to he thought you know what yeah i kind of regret putting that word in there so i'm not gonna say it doesn't you can actually check tweet history which i i didn't even know you could do that so he thought he could get away with it but yeah he added it back in which is kind of embarrassing but that's besides the point were there real intentions behind these messages the answer is absolutely not that doesn't change anything at all you still messaged someone anyway these were casual mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate but nothing more nothing illegal happened no pictures were shared no crimes were committed i never even met the individual i went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with twitch that case was resolved by a settlement let me be clear it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charge of brought against me now look just because no criminal charges have been brought against you or there was no case that doesn't mean that you haven't done that thing you have still done it you've just admitted to doing it you just weren't guilty of doing it in the eyes of the law that changes absolutely nothing i think he who was kind of hoping to divert people off into a different direction of it which is just so strange in my opinion i mean yeah he's fucking doubled down on it he didn't actually have to say anything at all there was no information about it until now these were just accusations no one had truly said anything about it because it was all sealed up and closed by a settlement but hey this guy's just doubled down on it now from a moral standpoint i'll absolutely take responsibility i should have never entertained these conversations to begin with that's on me that's on me as an adult a husband and a father it should have never happened i get it i'm not perfect on our own my stuff this was stupid yeah it, it was but hey this is the first time we've actually really seen a twitch star take full responsibility for something now with all that said don't get it mistaken i've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around loosely social media is a destruction zone i'm no predator or pedophile are you kidding me anyone that truly knows me knows where i stand on those things that's a different level of disgust that i hate hearing about don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst for exaggerations get the hell out of here with that stuff i, I there's no other way to put it you're an adult you're talking to someone who who is an adult inappropriately um i don't really know what else to call you really i mean obviously there's no messages maybe when he says inappropriately he was talking about how you know chips are meant to go in milkshakes that that would be pretty inappropriate but i think from what we can all assume here it was something a little bit worse than that you know maybe a bit more on the edp side anyway but i think i've said what i need to say regarding the ban itself that's it that's why twitch made the decision 2020 so my team community industry friends that support me i apologize i wish i could have said this all sooner to be honest if he'd said this sooner he's 
career would have ended sooner. So I don't really get that point. But hey ho. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the best community in Circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore. But just know you've always been greatly appreciated. I mean, he understands the consequences of his actions. But the problem is he's not going to face any consequences. Let's be honest here. If he streamed right now, it would be his best stream ever. Ever. Everyone who knows about this would jump straight into that stream. He definitely, without a doubt, hit 100k viewers. It would be an absolutely explosive stream. But trust me when I say this to all my haters that live in brief social media with zero real life experience, I don't care about you. Bigma. Fucking Sigma. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made these mistakes all these years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream. And I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. And then this is where he says something really quite cringe, but I'm going to read it anyway. They want me to disappear. Yeah, right. I mean, look, I think the statement in itself is actually quite mature but what he did is just unforgivable it's absolutely horrible yes it was a very long time ago i think it was 2017 so seven years ago now but that doesn't change the actions that he's done but now that i've got through his entire statement i want to pull out a clip which i'm really quite interested in because the way that the twitch owner summarizes why dr disrespect was banned is so metaphorically good i don't know how to put it and obviously no one understood it then but now that we have this it's so easy to understand. It's it's kind of creepy. Wants to know after all these years, why was Doctor Disrespect banned? Ah! <laughs> wow, I've never had that one. That, whoa. Well, now that I'm on Miz's channel, let me tell you what really happened. Okay, so um, there was an alien invasion. Okay, many people did not know about the alien invasion. Okay, oh. and um uh. The aliens actually um, uh, possess Dr. Disrespect. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and um, uh, they, it, it actually took over the globe using Twitch. With the Shungite. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. And so um, the only way we could save civilization, oh. okay, was, um, uh, was to take the action we did. Okay. So it was to save civilization. Now, for those of you that are still confused, he's basically just said Dr. Disrespect's desires overwhelmed him, overtook him. And uh, in order to save civilization, which in this scenario, he's talking about, you know, the individual that was not the same age as him, they had to ban him, which is such a good metaphor. And the fact that he came up with that on the spot is it shows how bright the guy is. But yeah, this is crazy. To think that the face of Twitch and the man who is at the top of the world has now fallen down is something that actually we can all expect if you ever heard the song viva la vida you'd know that this always happens to people at the top of their game i mean the lyric one minute i held the key next the walls were closed on me really just summarizes this right here this guy had the key to the world he really had everything he could ever need and uh he literally threw it away and now has been closed off from literally everyone completely understandably now i am quite interested to see what's going to happen when he gets back from his long vacation i honestly don't think he's going to lose fans from this there's so many people on twitter right now saying oh but you know what if he didn't know what what if he just didn't know the age like just take it at face value for now he said it himself and uh yeah that's about it see you